Angkor Wat is a temple complex located in present-day Cambodia, and it is one of the most important archaeological sites in Southeast Asia. It was built by the Khmer Empire, which was a powerful civilization that ruled over much of present-day Cambodia, Thailand, Laos and Vietnam from the 9th to the 15th century. Angkor Wat is the largest religious monument in the world and it is considered one of the most important and impressive examples of Khmer architecture. The temple complex of Angkor Wat was built in the early 12th century by King Sri of Arman II, during the height of the Khmer Empire's power and influence. The temple was built as a representation of the Hindu god Vishnu, who is considered the preserver of the universe, and as a funerary temple for the king. The temple was built with the intention of immortalizing the king and his kingdom, and it was also built as a symbol of the king's devotion to Vishnu. The temple is built in the Khmer architectural style, which is characterized by its intricate carvings and sculptures, and by the use of sandstone and laterite, materials that were abundant in the region. The Khmer architecture is known for its attention to detail, and for its use of symbolism and religious iconography. The temple is adorned with intricate carvings and sculptures that depict scenes from Hindu mythology and daily life in the Khmer Empire. The central temple is a five-tiered pyramid that is adorned with intricate carvings and sculptures, and it is surrounded by four smaller temples. The temple complex is surrounded by a moat, which served as a defensive barrier and it was also used as a reservoir for irrigation and to provide water for the city. The moat also added to the spiritual significance of the temple, as it symbolized the cosmic ocean, which surrounds the universe. The temple complex is accessible via a causeway that is lined with Naga balustrades, which are serpent-like figures that are commonly found in Khmer architecture. The Naga is a symbol of water and fertility and they are also protectors of the temple. The temple complex of Angkor Wat covers an area of about 402 acres, making it one of the largest religious monuments in the world. The temple complex is laid out in the form of a rectangle, with the central temple at its center and four smaller temples arranged around it. The layout of the temple complex is symmetrical and it is aligned with the cardinal points of the compass. The temple complex is oriented towards the west, which is unusual for a Hindu temple. In most Hindu temples, the main entrance is oriented towards the east, as it is believed that the rising sun represents the god Vishnu, who is the preserver of the universe. However, the temple complex of Angkor Wat is oriented towards the west, which is associated with the setting sun and death. It is believed that this orientation may have been intended to symbolize the temple's role as a funerary temple for the king. The temple complex is also surrounded by a moat, which is a symbolic representation of the cosmic ocean and it may also have been intended to represent the transition from life to death. Additionally, the temple's orientation towards the west may have been intended to align the temple with the path of the sun, as it sets over the temple, on the king's death anniversary. This was a way of the king's spirit to journey with the sun, towards the afterlife. Angkor Wat was not only a religious center for the Khmer Empire, but it also served as an important political and administrative center. The temple complex was a site of pilgrimage for the empire's subjects, who would come to pay homage to the gods and to the king, and it was also a site of royal ceremonies and rituals. The temple complex was the most important religious site in the empire and it was also a symbol of the king's power and prestige. The temple complex was also used as a political and administrative center, where the king would hold court, and where important political and administrative decisions were made. The temple complex was also the center of the empire's economic and agricultural activities, as it was surrounded by a complex network of canals and reservoirs, which were used for irrigation and to provide water for the city. The temple complex was not only used for religious purposes but also served as a military defense point during times of war. The temple complex was surrounded by a moat and it was also fortified with walls and towers, which were used to defend the city in times of war. The temple complex was also strategically located, near the center of the empire, and it was an important symbol of the empire's power and prestige. The Khmer Empire fell into decline in the 15th century, as a result of internal conflicts, economic troubles and external invasions from neighboring kingdoms. The temple complex of Angkor what was not spared from this decline and it was eventually abandoned. The exact reasons for the abandonment of the temple complex are not known, but it is believed that the decline of the empire led to the decline of the temple complex. The temple complex remained largely unknown to the Western world until it was rediscovered by French explorer Henri Mu in the 19th century. Mu stumbled upon the temple complex while exploring the Cambodian jungle and he was struck by the beauty and grandeur of the site. His discovery brought the temple complex to the attention of the Western world and it was soon visited by a number of Western explorers and scholars. Since its rediscovery, the temple complex has been the subject of extensive study and restoration by archaeologists and conservators. The Cambodian government, with the help of UNESCO, has undertaken extensive restoration and preservation work to preserve the temple complex for future generations.
The temple complex is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is a popular tourist destination. It receives millions of visitors every year, from all over the world, who come to see the beautiful and unique architecture of the temple complex. Angkor Wat is also an important symbol of Cambodian national identity and pride. It represents the peak of the Khmer Empire's power and influence and it is a symbol of the country's rich cultural heritage. It is also an important source of revenue for the country, as tourism is a major industry in Cambodia. The temple complex is also a popular location for films and TV series, which help to promote Cambodia and the temple complex to a wider audience.